everybody, welcome back to Flannel Acres. We have been working on a project for the last few weeks that I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, but first I'll give you a little bit of background. We've had this chicken coop over here uh, for several years I guess now. Uh, we had gotten it from somebody else so it was already used before we got it. And then um, my folks are going to be moving just a few miles away and there's a there was an old shed in the backyard that they wanted to get torn down and replaced with a new one. So we went and took a look at it and decided that the frame of the, you know, the inner structure was sturdy enough we could probably use that and turn it into a nice chicken coop. So with the help of some friends, thank you Nick and John if you happen to be watching, um, they had their equipment and trailer and everything and were able to load it up and bring it over here and unload it and place it right where we wanted it. So that was a huge, huge help. So I'm going to show you some pictures of that, um, kind of the process of getting the shed here and putting it in its place and also kind of go through some pictures of the process of getting it ready because the floor part of it was completely rotted out and um, some of the beams along the bottom and some of the 2x4s were rotted as well so those had to be replaced. Um, our son has been a huge help with that. He's a carpenter, so he knows how to do, you know, construction stuff, and that was a huge help. Thank you, Alec. One of the things that we wanted to add to the shed to make it a coop was nesting boxes. So my son and I kind of figured out a plan. We had a picture online of something that was similar to what I was looking for, and we made some nesting boxes, and here's some pictures of that. So there are four nesting boxes total, and they are a little bit on the large side. We could have made them smaller than that, but just based on where the studs are in the shed, this is kind of what worked best. So those are some pictures of uh, what that looked like, the process of making that. Follow me and we'll take a tour kind of around the coop and show you the inside and what that looks like as well. We do have a power cord running up there right now because we have an infrared heater in there, um, just a small one to keep them warm. We don't really need it anymore because the weather's warming up so this will be coming down shortly. Um, you can see we have the old doors here on, he on here still. Um, they're not in very good shape, but we haven't had time to make new ones yet, and I think I have somebody lined up to maybe do that project. So they're good enough for now, and we're just latching it with a little board in the bottom here. Um, like that. Because these latches don't line up anymore. So if you follow me around this side, I did put in some windows for the chicks. We had some scrap plexiglass that's, um, I don't know, quarter quarter or half inch, I can't remember which, but um, I used a roto zip and I made a template. I made just a basic template so I could level it and screw it on each spot and run the roto zip in there and so all of them are about the same size. Um, not perfectly straight lines, but for this it doesn't matter. But we put these windows here and then on the other side there's windows as well and I can show you those in just a minute. And this is the nesting boxes. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Um, really like the hardware and just how it looks all together. We still need to shingle the top of this to protect that. Um, we put a barrel bolt on here just to keep it secure, uh, but we found that this alone did not keep the doors tight shut, so we added some magnets, and I'll show you that. There's the four boxes. We added some industrial strength magnets, so two for each door. It really grabs hold of the door and keeps it tight closed. And if you take a look in there, you'll see that we have chicken wire across the fronts of those. I think the chicks are too young yet to um, be in the nesting boxes because they would just sleep in there and get it dirty. So we blocked it off until they're a little bit older and can lay eggs. So when these close, it really grabs nice and tight on there. So you have to give it a little tug to get it open. And that's really nice. I like that they close tight like that. All right, so after we got the walls on and the nesting box on and the doors on, it was time to make a chicken run in the back. 
So I got some scrap fence that we had from a chicken run quite a while ago and we still had the posts to do that. Um, I measured it out. I had just enough to make a chicken run out here. take a tour around the other side and I'll show you kind of some more on that side. So this is the other side of the coop and there's more windows here. I just felt like the chicks needed some more daylight in there so we didn't have to have a lamp or anything in there for light because um, originally before these went in we had just a, um, what do you call that, a clip-on lamp um, just on a timer so that they had some light in there because it's kind of dark. And then this part of the project I'm kind of proud of. I made a gate for the chicken run and it came together really good. I did have a big goof in it and measured wrong at first, but then it came together nice and it just has one of these gate latches on it and it closes nice and sturdy. It feels nice and sturdy. Um, not all of it is treated wood, which that's okay for now. That's, you know, this is all we had um, as far as scraps. The fence up for the chicken run and it's about five feet high and we'll take a look inside here so we have I think it's about a 20 by 20 area if I remember right in here for a chicken run which is big enough for these chickens I think um, I do want to get some deer fence. I have some deer fence. I want to get it put together so that it kind of goes over the top of this area just to keep um, raccoons and possums from climbing in here and also to keep hawks and whatnot from out, you know, keep them out of here from grabbing up the chicks. Uh, we do have this greenhouse frame here that I thought would be fun to just have in here and maybe put some perches in here. Um, I might make some kind of a like a thatch roof or something like that just for a little bit of shade um, but I thought this might be a good way also to keep the netting up higher so that we can walk around in here if we need to. We do have a nice uh, cherry tree here as well. Um, we kept this in here so that there's shade in the chicken run during the summer. The leaves are just starting to come out so that'll get shadier um, as the season goes on. And as far as the netting going up through here, we'll have some kind of a gap in that and attach it maybe to some of these branches so that there's still netting covering the area out here. And on the back of the shed here, we have this window that we put in, a um, nice big one with a chicken wire screen on it, uh, just for more air circulation and more sunlight to come in there. So it's just on a little barrel bolt there. And a stick that just kind of stays there. Um, I'm pretty happy with that too. That turned out kind of nice. And then the last part of this that we just installed yesterday, I'm really happy about. We spent just a little bit more money than we usually do on the chickens for this, but I thought it was really worth it. And I've wanted to do this for a long, long time. So this is an automatic chicken coop door. So this box right here has some batteries in it and there's a light sensor in it and a timer. So you can have this door open and close based on the how much light is out at the time, like light in the morning or when it gets dark at night. Or you can set it on a timer so it'll open and close based on what time of day you want it to open and close. See if I can cover it up and show you how it closes. That's what it does when it gets to be almost dark out. And you can set how many lumens um, it is triggered by. So if you want it shutting off when it's really dark, you can set it for that. Or if you want it shutting or opening um, when there's a different amount of light out, that's fine too. You can set that on there. So 
So then in the morning when it gets light again, it'll open back up. like that I think that's so cool <laughs> so this is all uh, the door and this frame here is made out of aluminum so it's lightweight uh, if a chicken were to get into here when it's closing it's very lightweight it's not gonna hurt them um, not gonna chop them in half or anything like that so um, yeah I'm pretty excited about that the chicks haven't quite figured it out yet I kind of made them come outside today um, but they're enjoying it obviously pecking around and I'm kind of curious about the environment. They haven't really been outside and free to roam like this before. So I just put together a quick little uh, ramp ladder, whatever you call those, so they can get in and out easier. And one of the issues that I had with having the coop up on blocks like this is the possibility of animals coming in here underneath. So what I did is I attached um, some pieces of fence right down here. And I dug down probably a good six inches and buried the fence down in the ground there. Um, so it's nice and sturdy here. And I put extra uh, paver blocks on the inside just to discourage digging uh, from that side of it. So that should protect the chickens from predators that would crawl in like raccoons and possums, skunks, things like that. All right, so this is what the coop looks like from the inside. We did attach the one door so it does not open. And what I plan to do eventually is build in kind of a screen door here that will kind of stay in place. So I'll frame it in and put chicken wire in it um, just to give, again, more airflow in here, more light, um, things like that. So the door eventually will be able to open and close, but then we'll have kind of this side that's screened in. And then this side will be for coming and going. Let me close this door here so you can see. And so she doesn't come in here. So with the door closed, this is how much sunlight is coming in. I feel like it's um, pretty good. You can see the window open there. It's nice and big. Let some breeze come in here. I did attach several perches in here for the chickens to perch on. Um, they can't really get to these top ones quite yet, but we have a couple lower ones um, for them to perch on. And I figured why not just use some trees that we have out in the woods. So my son and I um, went out there and cut these down and screwed them down and this should be good to go. We do have, here's the power strip that we're running power out here with and just a small infrared lamp. It's not super hot. I can touch this and it's not burning my hand or anything. And like I said, we're about ready to um, shut that down because it's warm enough in here. Um, this is an inside look at the nesting boxes. I'm real excited about those. Eventually we'll have some nesting materials in there um, once the chicks are old enough to start laying eggs. There's your window. And if you saw my most recent video, you saw me make one of these chicken feeders out of a bucket and a frisbee. Go check that out if you're interested. It's very, very simple to do. And we got this waterer here um, that holds a couple of gallons of water, and that's been real nice. The chicks um, really like that. Let me see, where is that from? It is uh, www.rentacoop.com is where this was from. It's a family business, so um, they're not sponsoring the video or anything, but I, I like the, the water. It's kind of a clever design. And in case you're wondering why there's all these screws on top of here, I wanted to discourage the chickens from perching up here. Um, otherwise, you know, because they'd be pooping on everything. So I just put a bunch of screws on the tops of these and hopefully they won't want to perch up there then. But yeah, I think that's about it. Um, brand new chicken coop. We're really excited about it. And um, I'd love to hear your guys' ideas on how you modify different things to make coops. Uh, we started out with a big shipping container that was about seven feet long and about four by four. Um, made that into a chicken coop when we very first got chickens and then of course this other one, the second hand one that we had and now this. Um, so we kind of moved up as we go along and I'm really excited that we can finally have one this size that we can walk into and not have to hit our heads on things. So 
um, yeah, let me know kind of what you guys are using for coops, um, what you've um, been resourceful with in order to have a coop and modify and making nesting boxes and all that stuff. So, so that's about it for now. Thanks for joining me and be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and check out another video at the end of this video. Catch you guys later. Bye.